In this video, we will see how to solve the SAP error no currency assigned to supplier, maintain master record, which might appear while you are trying to maintain a quotation. So, if you get this error, simply press the perform function. You, we want to maintain the purchasing data for this supplier. Here, it will probably already pre-fill a vendor number, but in our case, it is not correct. The vendor we are talking about is this one, so you need to know which uh, vendor you are currently processing um, and you have to go to purchasing data so make sure make sure to select uh, this checkbox if it is not already done because there is the order currency now press enter we'll now go into edit mode for this supplier so if no one else is currently editing the supplier you are able to edit it and here we need to uh, enter the order currency and we are redirected to transaction BP. So here, simply enter the order currency. In our case, this supplier is using a PLN, Polizuti, because it's in Poland, and press save. Wait for a second. Here, changes have been saved. Your um, supplier now have an order currency. We can press F3 to go back. And we are back to maintain quotation. We can press enter again. And most likely here we still have the issue no currency assigned to supplier this is because the new data have not yet been taken in consideration so make sure to uh, keep your rfq number just in case it is lost for some reason press f3 leave the transaction and go back to me47 to maintain your quotation enter again your rfq if it's uh, if the number is not correct press enter and here we go we can now maintain our quotation for this uh, uh, for this uh, request, uh, put the net price for this vendor for uh, this material and uh, uh, fill all the lines uh, as necessary. For example, here we have this price and save it. That's all. And now the quotation have been maintained successfully. So good luck in maintaining your quotation from suppliers in SAP.